Hey guys, uh, Baltimore Gamer 19 here, and welcome to part 36 of Let's Play The Sims 2: The Anderson Season 3. This is going to be the last episode of the series, and um, the reason why I'm making it the last episode of the series is because I'm I'm just I'm bored with this Let's Play. Like honestly, I I'm so bored with it. I mean, we've come a very far away from you know from Fiona Anderson and Mark Anderson now to the third generation where. You know, it just this this shows everybody now. Why couldn't I have done this? This shows everybody. So, well, not really everybody necessarily, but you know, it came down to the third generation, and honestly, this is like the longest family I've ever had. Like, from generation to generation, this is the longest family. And I would only play to like the, f the second generation if I had my own game, and then I was like, okay, I'm getting bored of them. I'm gonna do another one, and you know, the cycle would continue. And I'm just, it's just really sad probably for you guys to know like this is the last episode of the Andersons, you know, how many memories we have created with them and it's just too soon to let them go like this, but it has to be, it really does. So, um, to celebrate the last episode of the Anderson season three, uh, you know, it's abrupt that how it has to end like this, uh, I'm going to show you guys the last house for Ariana and Jim. And it's it came with Bon Voyage, and I never made this house, but uh, this house was like r pretty empty when I moved into it with Jim and Ariana. So I did furnish the house a little bit. Um, I didn't go extreme because you know it was the last episode, you know, but I should have, and I regret it now. But um, that's that's this is the house. So this room I did make by myself. I didn't make the walls or anything, but I created. I made it the way I wanted it to. Like this is the comedy showroom where I put out these chairs and I put out the comedian or the whatever this is called. It's the the superstar microphone, and I also put in a logic uh, chess table thing here. And out here you can do all the cool stuff like paint. You know who would love? Everyone would love to paint outside where it's peaceful and you can concentrate and all that good stuff. Listening to nature, it's it's just great. And then you can also exercise here as well. It's not so bad. And there's just a random exercise machine there. And nothing much over here. It's just pretty self-explanatory. And hopefully we can get abducted by aliens using this from the fat telescope. Someone suggested. Over here we have the kitchen area. I think you've seen this already since I showed you the first level already. But yeah, here's the f the kitchen area. It's not too special, but I think it looks fairly nice. Uh, you know, having the island here and having people sit there and eat the food that you make and the hard work and stuff that's put into it. The, f the, the bathrooms here, nothing too special there. Um, I say the the top bathroom looks a lot better. Like this one's more, more like, yeah, it's it's just it's just good. There's no other word to describe it. It's just amazing. Well, in my opinion. <laughs> And then over here is just the living room area where all the random things are put together and there's the pool table and the, the piano and the good stuff. So I think let's go ahead and continue the video. Let's just get into the gameplay. And they're just like having at it like they're, they're awesome. Like like we, we moved in. Yay. Everything's moved in. We're, we're ready to live in this house. Start a family together. But unfortunately, this is the last episode of the Anderson Season 3. Like I said, again, it's just being... It's just too repetitive for me to continue on like this. And I do... I'm not being... I'm not doing this for being selfish, but... I don't know. I'm just... I'm just done. And the reason why I stutter a lot and I can't think straight right now is because you know it's the morning. I'm recording at eight. I'm recording at eight a.m. and I usually wake up, but I actually do wake up earlier than that. But I don't know. So right now she's gonna go ahead and make some pancakes because you know it's the morning and everybody's hungry. Not really, Jim. Mm. Who's gonna work? Oh yeah, Jim is gonna work. Apparently he has work. They do have some leftover money. It's sixteen thousand simoleons. Um, yeah. Melissa did. Oh yeah. Did I forget to tell you guys how we got that much money? Oh yeah. Melissa chipped in like a hundred something thousand for this house. It was like this house cost it in total like sixty thousand before we moved in, and I think it's worth like a hundred thousand something now because of all the items we put in. 
It's this huge freaking piano right here. It's just, oh my god. So she's made her pancakes, and there's only one, there's only her here, so good thing she's serving herself. Mmm, frugana. Frugana. So, um, she does have work. She she has work today. I don't know why she's she's not, <laughs> she's not going to work. <laughs> uh, I think she should walk to work, right? Yeah, go ahead and walk to work so we can make some extra moolah. And you can get promoted today. I think you yeah, can get promoted. Uh, apparently, she's late for work. Uh, Mr. Humble here is here to drop off the computer. He always does. So if you have free time, you'll expect him to drop you off a computer. Do you expect that? Wait for. I, uh, speaking of computers, I don't think we have a computer. I think we should buy one, like a desk for it at least, because we already have a computer technically. So let's quickly do this. I don't know where to put it. Maybe we should put it in their room. Actually, no, that would be too noisy if someone like played a game or something. I think we'll put it right here. Oh, it's not really a bad spot for it. Okay, that just looks bad. I don't want that chair. I mean, it doesn't fit the desk. Most of these chairs do not look comfortable at all. It's like you sit on it, it's like, ah, my butt hurts. It, it's too, it's not comfy enough. It's not it's cushiony enough for you to sit on. I'm sorry, I'm having like a derpy morning right now. Uh, God. Okay. That works. And when they get back, Jim, I think he comes back home first. Or surprisingly, Ariana, because she's like a teacher, right? She comes home earlier, yeah. So I'm going to have her open it when they get back. And I'm not really going to cut out because the time can really just go really fast. Jim is daydreaming while lazily reorganizing the country music section of the store when a man walks in and asks to buy a copy of Love Forever Now and then a critically panned album that sold well amongst the masses. Jim really doesn't want to sell the album to anyone, but, then it, bleh, but then again, the store owner would be furious if he let his opinion ruin him on a sale. All eyes are on Jim. Should he dig up the copy of Love Forever Now and then or recommend something else? Well, um... Everyone has their own opinion, and I mean, you don't always have to voice your opinion on everything. And if you don't like the album, just let them have it. It's their type of music, just sell the album. All right. So, isn't it isn't Jim's problem that somebody else has terrible taste in music? So he points the customer towards the good love and feelings aisle, aisle, and goes back to reorganizing the country music section. After some time, the bell at the register rings, and Jim looks up to see the customer waiting with a small mountain of albums. It appears the customer is a good love and feelings fanatic and has bought up the entire inventory. Jim earns a pretty hefty commission of 185 simoleons for the lack, for his lack of effort. Wait, he gained money? Wow. See? Some things do make sense and some things don't make sense, so be careful when answering those questions. But... And, you know, it's not always going to be like that. It's just going to be something ridiculous. So she does have some lifetime aspiration benefits now, and she only has one. Um, what I'm probably going to have her do is I'm just going to spend that on um, work, played for her job, because um, she's not really off to a good start right now, and anything could happen at this rate that could risk her, her job. She also does have, like, 60,000 aspiration reward points. So I think I'm going to have her... I don't know what to buy. Should we get the money counterfeiting thing? I mean, you can't get caught for that. Or something. Um, yeah, I think we'll make we'll get the the, the money counterfeiting thing. And that's an another thing that I need to show you guys. It's just a thing to show you guys. I'm just going to speed this up again. And my neighbors have left because, you know, we're not home. Why would... I don't know. I just don't know. Ariana has returned from work. Ariana earned 32. Okay. 
open the dang present. Oh cool, computer. I didn't know we were gonna get a computer. Haha. <laughs> Haha. And coincidentally I have a desk for it. Okay, that's good. That that is so good. We should also put in like the the good stuff, like the souvenirs that we got from the trips and stuff and yeah. <coughs> Gonna put the treasure maps on the walls, and when we go on a vacation again, if we ever go on a vacation, I'm just gonna take them, take them off the walls, and take them with us because we're gonna need that for the secret lots. And I think I just put that on the outside of the house because where else would I put it? Oh, maybe not. I don't know where I put it. Oh, it's on the ground. Okay then. <laughs> just you know, it gives Jim like a little bit of like memory of his, his, his Tweaky Island and stuff. Yeah, it gives them, like, good memories. And if we're ever short on friends, we, get, we have the voodoo doll with us, which is very convenient. Okay, what was I going to do? I was going to show you guys this thing here, too. So let's go ahead and counterfeit some simoleons. And I don't know how much simoleons you can get from counterfeiting, but I think it's a lot because it's an aspiration reward. I think so. I, I think so. And here's what it looks like, counterfeiting. I actually have like um there was this story. I'm going to I'm going to tell you guys a story. So I was in university with I think it was Melissa to the point where I wasn't recording like I didn't I feel like recording university all the time like all the parts that university had to come with, you know, it would take forever to get through it for a video. Um I think Melissa, they had the money counterfeiting thing over at the university for some reason and Melissa was counterfeiting money and then she got arrested that night and it wasn't the secret social secret society members because she didn't, you know, she didn't come back. She was gone. So I think she got in trouble or something. Somebody found her counterfeiting money and they told the police on her. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty interesting though. See the money go through. <laughs> well, let's see how much we made from doing this. Get their cash. <laughs> She's got 148 simoleons from doing that. And that's actually pretty funny. It's just hysterical to get that. I'm gonna go ahead and have her make some dinner. Uh, not really anything new, but we're gonna make some hamburgers for tonight. Ship should be coming back from work about now. Yep. And he got promoted to piano tuner, which is great. Promotions are always great. And while she's making those hamburgers, I'm gonna have him come home and just play the piano. Just for a little bit. I don't know. Yeah, it's perfect music for the last episode of The Andersons. It really is. It's really sad. Sounds sad, actually. And at the end of the video, I will show you guys all the memories we have gathered together for The Andersons. And the good moments and the bad moments. Actually, I'm not going to put in the bad moments. Why would you put bad moments at the end of it in a freaking series? I don't know. I think people would do that, though. But... All the good memories are going to be at the end of this video. It's just like a little slideshow. When Melissa was a baby, she was a toddler, she was a child, she was a teenager, and then she was a young adult, and then an adult, and now an elder. Which is, she's come very far away. She's had, she lived a really good life. Who's that on the phone? Oh, Jim's going to answer it. Okay, thank you, Jim. Area unavailable to talk? No, I don't think so. Okay, I'm gonna have him. Actually, he already ate, so I don't think he'll have him eat any hamburgers, but he can put away the leftovers. Put away the leftovers. Yeah, you can 
clean that up. It's really, it's raining a lot, surprisingly. Hmm. And what I'm gonna have her do now is, I don't know. Let's have her look through the telescope now. Jim's just gonna lay down because he's running out of comfort. <coughs> I really like this house. It's very spacious and all that good stuff. Just looking at a star. Uh, let's do. We're gonna do something every Monday for this family. It's called Monday Madness. Madness Monday. And what we're gonna do is have her perform some stand-up comedy and Jim's gonna be one of the audience members for it. It's kind of stupid but actually pretty funny. What is she saying? Can't hear the joke if you're screaming all the time. He's like, that's my wife right there. That's my wife. No one's here. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and I think um, I'm gonna have them go ahead and woohoo now, so that way they can try for a baby. That's always the first thing we do when we move into a new house and have a new family. So I did decorate the room a little bit to fit that feet the feet the mood of the room. I'm talking like freaking Vladimir or something. What's it? What's that? Lord Vlad? No, Vla Lord. It's not Lord Voldemort. <laughs> It was a vampire. I forgot his name. Uh, Count Dracula. Count Dracula. Talking like him. And these are really nice candles, I guess. Really nice. And I'm gonna have him pull the move because he's a man in the relationship. Unless Ariana can be the man in the relationship, she's like, Urgh! and stuff. Let's try for a baby. First thing we do, try for a baby. On the bed. On the bed. Mm. First with who? Ah. Can't see his face. <laughs> she doesn't have a broken budget. I mean. You didn't hear that. You didn't hear that. <laughs> oh, the good memories from it. Remember, if you watch season one of um, the Sims 2 Free Time with the Andersons, with Melissa, uh, I think it was, it was Melissa, no, it was not. It was Fiona and Mark. Um, they tried, like, several times for a baby, and they never got one, but I, like, went, right when they got one, I said something very vulgar. I was like, is her, does she have a broken vagina? Like, I just stopped right there, because I heard the jingles and stuff. <laughs> good memories, good memories. So, um, well, guys, this is it. <clears throat> this is, you know, the last episode, everything, and I'm going to end it here. Sorry for the short episode for the last one. I'm sorry. But, um, if you enjoyed the series from, if you followed them from season one through se throughout season three, you are a true fan, and it's ending now, abruptly, and I do, there's going to be another, another family. Don't worry for The Sims 2. I'm still going to do Sims 2. It's not like I'm going to stop it. I'm going to continue to keep The Sims 2 dream alive. If for those of you who are here for Sims 2, I'm going to keep it alive. Um, there's going to be another family, another uh, series, and it's going to be in a whole new different neighborhood. Everything's going to be different. It's just going to be like the same thing. It's going to start off from like the Andersons and all that, but then it's just a different family. That's all. Like a whole 
different family that doesn't have last name Anderson. So once again, I hope you enjoyed the series, and if you liked the video, go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up. And if you want to continue watching the series or any other series that you're interested in, go ahead and click that subscribe button if you haven't already. And do not end this video yet because you know you need, you have to watch the ending. You do have to watch the ending if you want to see. Yeah, you just you just have to watch it. So roll the uh, the slideshow of the good memories that was in, in this family. It's a boy, I know. It's a boy. Better be a boy. It is a boy. It's a girl. Знаєш, як є, як я ставлюсь до того, яка ти. I'm actually just kidding about the series ending, you know, have you, you should check the date, um, if you already figured that out, then good job, you're smart, and if you didn't figure that out, and you're actually, you were actually thinking that I was ending the series, then you got fooled, <laughs> it's April Fool's, happy April Fool's Day, everybody, the series is not ending, it's gonna continue on until episode 150 something, you guys would know that, um, cause I told you guys a whole bunch of times, and if you check my website series, then you would know it's gonna last up into like 150 parts, but I think I'm just going to lower that to like 120 something. Somewhere around 100. But yeah. Happy April Fool's Day everybody. And play your best tricks on your, your family and all that. Make sure it's not dangerous because I'm not responsible for like get promoting, like encouraging like dangerous things. So don't do anything dangerous. Just, you know, have a little fun joke. Make sure it's not too serious. Hopefully you don't have a whole bunch of serious people in your family or something like that. Or friends, you know, because they're just it's not going to work out. So yeah. Once again, thanks for watching. Hopefully all of you have a wonderful April Fool's Day, and uh, hopefully it's a good one. And I will talk to you guys again later today, because I'm going to upload again later today. So, I'm very active now, if you haven't noticed that already. Thanks for watching. I love you all. Stay awesome. And yeah.